we're trying to inspire people to use your method here. So we want to know what are the most touching stories of a way that with some of your students, I know you do both in real life and online, of the way it's changed someone's life, say, by removing arthritis or, or something of this sort. What are the most inspiring stories you've heard? Uh, well, you know, something that touched my heart last year was a, a, a mother coming to my house personally, and she said, uh, I got two children, five and seven. They both have tumors in their brain, and they are not able to be helped or treated uh, by regular chemotherapy because their immune system is too low, too, too weak. Their white cells are too low in, a, a, in account. And uh, when I heard five and seven years, man, uh, woman, mother, I'll be t until the end, until they go to heal. That's, that's the father. That is the man. That is somebody who comes up and instead of not giving hope, is standing there as a human, I do all my best and we will get there. And she broke there, right there, in tears. And then I said, tears are okay, but let's go to work now. And it only took eight days with these children going playfully into the cold in, into the breathing, not forcing upon them, playfully. It took eight days, and then they got a, a blood sample check up of their white cell count, and it had multiplied ten times. And at that moment, they were very able to get into chemotherapy, and now one is completely healed, and the other one is halfway healing and that is just amazing. We need to have the confidence and the power and understanding. And that's why it should be studied so much more. And also I'm asking or requesting from the Oxford University, get studies done on this method. Because this method really is helping millions of people all the time, everywhere in the world. So it needs more credibility by rigorous scientific research. So that little story of one mother coming, but in which the normal system was not able to help her, nature has a lot of answers. And it serves humanity. And it needs a research beyond any doubt, any speculation. And that's what I'm requesting. So anybody who is listening to this, come on with research, proposals. Let's change the world through understanding that we are capable of so much more than we thought possible. Nature has it. Yeah, thank you. I mean... One of the times I think when you started to really pick up was actually when those studies began, right? Because I remember reading it uh, in your book, the story you were telling about, you went to go to a study, I can't remember the university, um, and you managed to suppress E. coli through conscious control. And then you managed to get other people to do it. And if we just had more of that, I mean, tell us a little bit about that. It's insane. Yes, and the study has been replicated as an endotoxemia model. And that is an e part of an E. coli bacteria, which the immune system recognizes as, hey, there is an E. coli bacteria attack. And that causes fever, headaches, all over agony, because the reaction on uh, the E. coli bacteria causes inflammation. And inflammation is the cause and effect of any disease, actually. So... They make use of the endotoxemia model, which is injecting a part particle of an E. coli bacteria by which the immune system uh, works like it is being under attack or in, into a, a disease. So they had 16,000 people uh, gone through this model, uh, through this experiment, and they all became, after the injection of the E. coli bacteria particle, they all became sick. Except me. And then they said, but you are uh, different. You are uh, a, 
a genetical anomaly. You are extraordinary. You are the Iceman. You are this and you are that. I said, no, 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 no. Anybody can do what I can do. I will show you. Give me people, 18 people, and I will show you uh, that they will not become sick after injection of E. coli bacteria. And that's in contrary of 16,000 people who got sick. And then I took them on and it, it took me four days to train these people. And then they were 100% all able to resist the E. coli bacteria big time. So uh, they, they didn't got fever. They didn't got uh, this vomiting all over agony, uh, uh, muscle aches and, uh, and nausea, nothing of that. They had it all under control, 100%. And that is where we changed fundamentally the scientific understanding what we can do against inflammation.